हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल और आज हम करेंगे इंग्लिश ग्रामर चैप्टर टू नंबर सो लेट स्टार्ट एग्जाम इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस प्लीज गिव मी योर बुक प्लीज गिव मी योर बुक्स द नाउ बुक स्टैंड अप फॉर ओनली वन थिंग इट इज देर फॉर सेट टू बी अ सिंगुलर नंबर एनी नाउन Standing for one person thing is said to be a singular noun such as boy, man, donkey, chair, desk, fan, etc. The noun books stand for many than more than one thing. It is therefore said to be in the plural plural number. Any noun standing for two or more than a one. things like um, boys men's donkeys chairs desk etc so there's a exercise so let's do it right point out the noun in this sentence state whether they stand for one thing or person or more than one things or person the boys are writing in copy books means boys are uh, more than one means plus one so it is plural sentence second a little girl is playing with her friends means in this sentence girl is singular and friends are plural cows give milk means milk is uncountable so it is uh, counted in singular and cows um, we can say uh, uh, their they it tell us about many cows so it will be plural so let's move to our next page how plural are, f- are formed let us now examine how the plural noun are formed in from the singular observe the following nouns boy boys girl girls room rooms door doors chair chairs desk desks etc most noun from the plural are by adding s in to the singular as we can observe there are uh, some singular and some plural nouns these nouns are just changed by adding as after them observe the following nouns from the plural let's lashes brush brushes push pushes dish dishes let's let's etc as we can observe there it make a sound of ash ch h s or x means we will add e s here like matches because we can't uh, only add s for example let we take los so we can't add one another s here so it will be los means no sense but it is now losses so let's move to our next page examine the following now lady ladies baby babies family families copy copies pony ponies from the example we infer the rule for the noun ending in y after a consonant change the y into i and add es to make plural form as we can observe let's take gypsy so in this there's a consonant before y so y will change into i and es will be added now notice the following nouns valley valley is journey journeys monkey monkeys pulley pulleys chimney chimneys as we observe here there are not consonant 
there are vowels before y in this whole table so there will be simply added s which is original to form plural examine the following nouns thief thieves sheets shelf shelves leaf leaves calf calves half halves wolf wolves wife wives knife knives as we have heard here, here the f will f changes into v and es is added like this table but here y was changed into i and here f is changed into v and es is added as we can read here thus we infer the noun ending in f or fe forms the plural by changing this and into v and adding es but if you notice that following nouns which end with f shall that is the rule of many exceptions roof roofs roof hoofs cliff cliffs puff puffs this noun follow the general rule of adding s into the singular means for example cuff cuffs as you can see here but there are many uh, words and with o uh, and there is added es like hero heroes mango mangoes potato potatoes volcano volcanoes negro negros cargo cargoes echo echoes buffalo buffaloes and many more and few noun ending in o form the plural by adding only s like kilo kilos photo photos piano pianos bamboo bamboos dynamo dynamos hundred of year ago a fairly common rule was that adding en to the singular to form plural there are a few noun still follow the rule such as ox oxen child children means brother brother brethren means there was a old rule before a uh, hundred years ago where a uh, singular was uh, changed to plural by adding en so let's let's move to our next page examine the following noun man man woman woman foot feet mouse mice tooth teeth goose geese louse this the above noun uh, form the plural by change of vowel as we see there are only a few of them yes yes as we can observe only the vowels are changed in this table like tooth teeth the noun fish is also used for both singular and plural the they form fishes can be used to refer the different kind of fish means the word fish is used for singular and plural we use fishes when we say talk about more than one type of fishes not more than one fish the normal plural of person is people the form persons uh, is uh, sometimes used in official language some noun are used only in the plural name of a instrument which have two parts forming a kind of pair such as bellows scissors tongs pincers spectacles spectacles and binoculars as we can observe these words are only used as plural and 
these are these words are uh, used when we say a group of them means a pair of them names of certain dresses such as trousers drawers jeans tights shirts pajamas yes when we say name of some uh, dresses they are all only used in plural form name of this is are also used as plural such as maids mums rackets etc name of games such as billiards dart certain other nouns such as annals thanks tidings chattels etc certain collective noun through singular in form are always used as plural such as poultry cattle vermin people gentle this poultry are mine where are these whose are these cattle vermin destroy our property and carry disease for the people a compound compound noun generally form its plural by adding s to the principal word such as son in law son in laws as you can see there is a compound word means group or two or more words like son in law so it changed by adding s such as son in laws daughter in law daughter in laws step son step sons step daughter step daughter maid servant maid servants man of four man of four we say spoonful and handful because spoonful and help and full they got it as one word letter figure and symbol are made plural by adding the apostrophe and s such as there are more is then is in this page means it want to say that there are many letter e then letter a in this page dot your eyes and cross your t's means and the next sentence add two fives to four twos it don't want to say add five twos two two fours it want to say as that two times fives into four times twos it it is used to say miss the miss smith singular miss smith but we also say mrs miss mrs smith abstract noun noun have no plural they are usually uncountable hope charity love kindness when such word appear in plural they are used as countable such as kindness act of kindness name of substance or material called material noun also do not have a plural form such as copper iron tin wood if we add s to this so it will make copper which is this word is which word is used for copper coins iron means fat which is used for fetters tin means can of can made of tin and woods means forest that's it for today bye thank you